Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be going over the Image-C9000 Pro Professional Charger Analyzer and how to use it. This charger charges up to four AA and AAA nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium batteries independently. When I say charge them independently, that means you can charge any amount of batteries you want. You can charge one battery, two batteries, three batteries, or four batteries. And yes, you can charge both AA's and AAA's at the same time. This charger has four modes. The charge mode, the break-in mode, the discharge mode, and the refresh and analyze mode. I'll go over these modes in just a bit. What's pretty amazing about this charger and its four modes is that you can actually use all four modes all at the same time. For example, if you want to do this, you can use the charge mode in slot one, the break-in mode in slot 2, the discharge mode in slot 3, and the refresh and analyze mode in slot 4. It also has memory settings, which means that it remembers the last settings that were used to make it easier to set up the next time you use it. It has an easy setup as well, meaning you can set the settings for slot 1 and then apply those same settings to the rest of the slots. I'll explain how to do this in each of the modes in just a few minutes. This charger also has a large backlit LCD screen, which displays the status of each battery and has an option to keep the screen on or off. Let's go over the buttons here really quick. You use these buttons to make your selections. Press the up and down arrow buttons to choose the mode you want to use. Press the enter button to make your selection. Press the slot button to go to the battery slot you want to see more info on. Always start with no batteries in the charger. Plug the power connector to the charger first. Then plug the AC adapter to the wall outlet. Please note that the charger will go into standby mode with the display turned off until you insert a battery. Now you can insert your AA or AAA battery. Make sure to insert your battery in slot 1 first, from left to right for best performance. Always insert your AA and AAA batteries from the bottom negative side first. For AA's, use a top silver contact here. For AAA's, use the bottom silver contact here. You're going to want to push the contact back just a bit with the battery. Don't push it down so it can stay tightly in place. When you insert a battery, the screen will display an arrow below the slot number here. It will also ask you which mode you want to use by flashing the word mode here on the top. Use the up and down arrow buttons to choose a mode you want to use and press the enter button. If more than one battery is inserted at a time without pressing any buttons, the charger will last to program your batteries in the order in which the batteries were inserted. If no button is pressed within 10 seconds, the charger will proceed to the last use setting. Before we go into any of the modes, I would like to point out that we created a table on the first page of the manual under General Battery Education. I would highly recommend reviewing this table before you get started. This table is a quick guide to help you determine the charge and discharge rates to use in the modes according to your AA or AAA battery capacity. For example, our Parox Pro AA batteries have a 2700 mAh capacity. Therefore, I'll be using 1300 for my charge rate and 600 for my discharge rate. It'll make more sense once we go over that part in the different modes in just a bit. Also, if your battery capacity happens to fall between the capacity numbers we have given here, always use the lower capacity number. For example, if you have a AA battery that has a 2500 mAh capacity, it will fall in between these two capacities here, the 2400 and 2600. You will use the 2400's capacity's charge rate and discharge rate numbers. Okay, now let's go into when and how to use each of the modes. As I mentioned before, the charger has four modes. The charge mode, the break-in mode, 
the discharge mode, and the refresh and analyze mode. We'll start with the charge mode. The charge mode is just a normal regular battery charge. You use this mode when the battery needs to be recharged without determining the capacity of the battery. Based on the recommending settings in the manual, the charger will charge your batteries in about two hours. To use this mode, insert your AA or AAA battery in slot one. Use the up and down arrow buttons to go to the charge mode and press enter to select this mode. The charger will ask you for the charge rate by flashing set charge rate here on the top right corner. Use the up and down arrow buttons to select your charge rate. I'll be using 1300 and press enter. To determine my charge rate, I know my PowerX Pro AA batteries has a 2700 capacity. So by looking at the table on the manual, my charge rate number is 1300. You can now repeat the same steps for each of the battery slots you need to use. Here's the good thing though. The charger has an easy setup function. So if you want, you can apply the same function and settings you just used in slot one to the rest of the battery slots. I would want to do this in my case because I know the rest of the batteries I'll be charging have the same capacity. I will show you how to do this. Once you select the charge rate you want to use in slot one, press and hold the enter button for two seconds instead of just pressing enter like we did at first. Now you can go ahead and insert the rest of your batteries. You don't have to repeat the same steps for each slot anymore. So easy, right? Now give it a few seconds for your batteries to start charging. There you go. Now your batteries are being charged. Based on the recommending settings in the manual, the charger will charge your batteries in about two hours. Once the charger is done charging your batteries, the word done will be displayed next to the slot number that is done. You will see it here on the right side of each number. Keep in mind that the charger will display the accumulated energy that was put into the battery once it's done charging, not the available capacity of the battery. For the break-in mode, you use them when you need to activate batteries that have been in storage for an extended period of time, longer than six months. It's also recommended for batteries that cannot be rescued by the refresh and analyze mode. You will also use this mode if you have brand new batteries that are not low self discharge. If you need to break in your new batteries, you must discharge those new batteries first in the discharge mode before using the break in mode. If your new batteries are low self discharge, then you don't have to worry about it. For our PowerX Pro and PowerX Precharge batteries, they're low self discharge, so you don't need to break in your new batteries. This mode will determine your battery's capacity. Do keep in mind that this mode does require 39 to 45 hours to complete. Also, it is very important to remember that the discharge mode must always be done first before using the break-in mode. To use this mode, insert your AA or AAA battery in slot one. Use the up and down arrow buttons to go to the break-in mode and press enter to select this mode. The charger will ask you for the battery capacity by flashing set battery capacity here on the right hand side. Use the up and down arrow buttons to select your battery capacity. For my PowerX Pro battery, I'll be using 2700 and press enter. This will help the charger calculate the charge and discharge rates automatically. Now you can repeat the same steps for each of the battery slots. You can save yourself some time by using the charger's easy setup function that I had mentioned before. So if you want, you can apply the same function and settings you just used in slot one to the rest of the battery slots. I will definitely do this because all the batteries I'm breaking in here have the same capacity. To do this, once you have selected your battery's capacity in slot one, press and hold the enter button for two seconds instead of just pressing enter like we did at first. Now you can go ahead and insert the rest of your batteries. The whole process will take 39 to 45 hours to complete. The break-in mode will perform the following steps. Charge, then rest for one hour, discharge, then rest for one hour, then it'll charge until the batteries are fully charged. 
Once the charger has finished breaking in the batteries, the word done will be displayed next to the slot number that is done. You will see it here on the right side of each number. The charger will display the available capacity of the battery. For the discharge mode, you use it when you need to discharge and remove all the energy from the batteries. Always use this mode before using the break-in mode. Please note that the battery will not be recharged at the end of the cycle. To use this mode, insert your AA or AAA battery in slot 1. Use the up and down arrow buttons to go to the discharge mode and press enter to select this mode. The charger will ask you for the discharge rate by flashing set discharge rate here on the top right corner. Use the up and down arrow buttons to select your discharge rate. I'll be using 600 and press enter. To determine my discharge rate, my PowerWorks Pro AA battery has a 2700 capacity. So by looking at the table on the manual, my discharge rate number is 600. You can now repeat the same steps for each of the battery slots you need to use. You can save yourself some time by using the charger's easy setup function here as well. You can apply the same function and settings you just used in slot 1 to the rest of the battery slots. I will use this function since all the batteries I'm discharging have the same capacity. To do this, once you have selected your discharge rate in slot 1, press and hold the enter button for 2 seconds instead of just pressing enter like we did at first. Now you can go ahead and insert the rest of your batteries. Give it a few seconds for the batteries to start discharging. There you go. During the discharge mode, the energy is being removed from the batteries. Once the charger is done discharging the batteries, the word done will be displayed next to the slot number that is done. You will see it here on the right side of each number. The charger will display the accumulated energy that was removed from the battery, not the available capacity of the battery. Now for the last mode the Refresh and Analyze mode. You use it when you need to analyze the available capacity of the battery. It is used to determine the health of the battery based on the actual amount of capacity it can hold. It is also used for batteries that are not performing well. To use this mode, insert your AA or AAA battery in slot 1. Use the up and down arrow buttons to go to the Refresh and Analyze mode and press Enter to select this mode. The charger will ask you for the charge rate by flashing set charge rate here on the top right corner. Use the up and down arrow buttons to select your charge rate. I'll be using 1300 and press enter. Now the charger will ask you for the discharge rate by flashing set discharge rate here on the top right corner. Use the up and down arrow buttons to select your discharge rate. I'll be using 600 and press enter. To determine my charge and discharge rates, I know my battery has a 2700 capacity. So by looking at the table on the manual, my charge rate number is 1300 and my discharge rate is 600. You can now repeat the same steps for each of the battery slots you need to use. You can save yourself some time by using the charger's easy setup function here as well. You can apply the same function and settings you just used in slot 1 to the rest of the battery slots. I will use this function since all the batteries I'm using here have the same capacity. To do this, I will select my charge rate and press enter. Now I will select my discharge rate, then press and hold the enter button for 2 seconds instead of just pressing enter like we did at first. Now you can go ahead and insert the rest of your batteries. The refresh and analyze mode will perform the following steps. Charge, then rest for 1 hour, discharge, then rest for 1 hour, then it'll charge until the batteries are fully charged. Once the Refresh and Analyze mode has finished analyzing and conditioning the batteries, the word done will be displayed next to the slot number that is done. You will see it here on the right side of each number. The charger will display the available capacity of the battery. This charger gives you the option to permanently turn the backlight on or off while in use. For the default light, 
The screen will remain lit for about 15 seconds from your last button press and then it will turn off. It will automatically turn back on once any button is pressed. To permanently turn on the backlight, press the up and down arrow buttons at the same time for two seconds. To go back to the default light, press the up and down arrow buttons at the same time for two seconds. One of the most frequently asked questions we get is if you can leave the batteries in the charger. Once the batteries are done charging, you can leave them in the charger. You don't have to take them out right away. However, we don't recommend storing your batteries in the charger once you store your charger away. We recommend just using a battery holder to store your batteries. They will also be more organized this way. And that's it. Hope this helped answer some of your questions in how to use the charger. Make sure to read the manual that comes with the charger for more details. You can also find the manual on our website. Feel free to contact us by email or by phone if you have any questions or need assistance using the charger. Our tech support team will be more than happy to assist you. Please like this video if it helped and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.